I'm ready whenever you are, dude. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> How's my background? Sweet, dude. It's better than mine. Mine's so, bare, like... mine's so bare bones right now. How's the mic sound? I switched it to one. It was on three. Sounds Does good. Does it sound any different? No, it sounds pretty good. Are we just... You have like a uh, script or something? A script? No, not right now. I think, I think our first episode is probably just going to be like for real just catching up and kind of winging it. Start this thing, dude. Do you have like an <laughs> intro or something that you do? Kind of. I mean, I just kind of like start saying like, hey, welcome to the Uncanceled Podcast. I'm Easy Mac, and this is my brand new co-host. And then you introduce yourself. What should I say? What should I say John? <laughs> I'm John. I'm Dubs. Whatever. Whatever. As of war, good movies daily. <laughs> Fucking the list goes on. All right. Ready? Yeah. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Uncancelled Podcast after being gone for, was it been, a couple months. Um, I've lost my old co-host. Um, one is moving to Florida, so we're not going to hear from him for a while. And J Josh is here somewhere out there. Hope he's doing good. Hope you're doing good if you're watching this. For now, this is my new co-host. His name is I'm Dubs or on now trending tales of horror on tiktok hello <laughs> so introduce yourself if i miss some things how you guys doing i'm john uh for the longest i've been i'm dubs on most of my social medias uh back when i you know first gr started grinding video games i was i'm dubs when i first started making youtube videos i was i'm dubs uh but yeah i slowly transitioned into my tales of horror tiktok and then I have another TikTok that is my Good Movies Daily TikTok. Um, I like the short form media aspect of it. Uh, yeah. If if you guys know, if you've been here for the longest OG Easy Mac back then called Captain Shabby here. And this was <laughs> <laughs> this was my boy Dubs coming in and helping me out with my first couple videos. And we did yeah. some funny challenges and he's helped me out we've been good friends for such a long time and i feel like this is a long time coming because i feel like me and him kind of go like peanut butter and jelly we can talk end on end we have fucking jokes we make fun and it's just a good time yeah around. yeah i'm excited this is cool we, you know like he said we've been talking about this for literally years yeah it's, and it's been cool to finally do it yeah, we've been talking about doing this type of thing, doing more content together. It's just it's just the timing has always been off with us, you know. There's always yeah. something that happens, family issues, personal life. It's all what what stops us from doing what we want to do. Yeah, but we said, you know, let's just set a day, let's do it. And we're here, we're doing it, and it's yep. it's super exciting. And speaking I'm, of that, uh, because he be said here. set a day, he said set a day, it was Sunday. <laughs> and then we fucking <laughs> like, okay. Tuesday. Uh, we'll go Tuesday. Tuesday works. Tuesday. Yeah, yeah, my bad. My bad. <laughs> yeah, no, I know. I'm pretty bad at. Uh, that's probably one of my biggest. My biggest things is like I'll say I'll do something and then I, I don't do it. Like I'll procrastinate it. That's one thing I need to work on. It's procrastinating and putting stuff off. No, yeah, I feel you, dude. I'm the exact same way. I'll think about it in the morning, like, I'm going to get this done. I'm going to get this done. I'm going to start oh, yeah. this. <laughs> I'm going to make this content, and I'm going to be so happy. And then by the time the end of the day comes, I'm like, well, I'll do it tomorrow. That sounds about right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's. I'll be at work like thinking about it. I'm like, oh, man, I have this video ready to go in my head. Uh, I could do this video on this one. Yeah, I get home, and I'm like, nap time. I'll take a nap. You know, Then I <laughs> go get my kids, or you know, I'll just... Just had to relax or hang out with my girlfriend instead. And it's, you know, the next day, uh, it's crazy how time flies. It's, oh, dude, it's definitely. Insane. Man, when we get older, everything gets by so quicker. It's so much quicker. I mean, me and my girlfriend, we since we got this house, it's already been oh, a, a half of a year since we got the house. It's just, yeah, that's time awesome, is man. fucking that's flying. Exciting. On the east side. Oh, yeah. It, it afraid, never man. left, man. Can't yeah, leave. that's a spot. That's where we want to end up, too. You know, we're in uh, Henderson. But. Yeah. It's uh, it's all right. Um, so how you been, man? Yeah. Like, how is everything? I know we haven't talked for a while. Yeah, just the usual. Just been working. Uh, 
got my two kids, you know, John David and Maddie. They're both in uh, like pre-K. I think that's what you would call it. Uh, unfortunately, he was supposed to start school um, this year when he turns five, but they started like a new rule to where you can't start school until you're six if you're not born after like before like august like 19th something ridiculous you i don't know, think so that was a new st- role because I, that's also happened to me like i i, I uh, went into a later year yeah i was i was always younger than everybody it was my sister she was she was like right at the cutoff because she was telling me about it but anyway yeah so they're both at a like a preschool they're chilling you know i'm working you know work on do my content every now and then i wish i did it more i need to do it more don't we all you know, wish this is inspiring me to, you know, do it more. Hopefully, we you know. can keep this into like a weekly basis. You know, it's something that we can yeah. do at least once a week. Put it out there. Especially, you know, we're just doing it over Discord. You know, I don't have to. Yeah, you don't have go to anywhere. Worry. We can time it. Like right now, I put my kids to bed. You know, I don't have to worry about them being crazy in the background or, you know, anything else going on. Someone ringing my doorbell. Um, but yeah, eventually one day, yeah, we get to where we're sitting across from each other. Yeah, they I love watching podcasts like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah I, can, cool. I mean, I can set it up just like that. Have two chairs right here. Got the camera right here. Got the professional camera, so we're gonna. Look yeah, it looks so sweet. good. <laughs> I got lighting. I got a bunch of studio lights. I got two here, and then I got two off to the side over there that I'm not using. Yeah, your quality on that camera looks looks real good. Mine's mine's all right. I got this. I what is this? Ten eighty p. It's all right. It's all right. That's all that matters, dude. Like I said, it's the first one, and we only get better from here, you know? Get better mm-hmm. topics, get a little less awkward, yeah. <laughs> oh, got a lot, so awkward. get a lot more friendly. <laughs> um, I know, yeah, like, we could talk about so much stuff. It's like, oh. It's and that's, 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 like, why it was so perfect when I when I named it the Uncanceled Podcast, because you could literally talk about anything. Trending topics yeah. right now, we could put our own point of views. Mm, movies movies yeah i i mean i'm not uh, that much into movies but uh, i'd love to listen because like every time that you post something on tiktok i'm like oh damn i should probably watch that one dude, or yeah, i should there's watch so it many again good movies. there's so many good movies out right now it's you're talking it's to the awful. pro with like a million movies behind him yeah yeah a lot of the <laughs> like the dvds and stuff i have you know i got a lot of those a long time ago you know so the movies i've been getting more and more like particular about like, when I bought the DVDs and stuff, I was getting a lot of them, like, in bulk. That's how, yeah. Like, I was still picking them out and stuff um, individually, but the guy I was buying them from at the store was selling me for, like, dirt cheap. So I was getting, like, 20 at a time, for, you know, for, like, $5, you know, or, or something insane. When you were first um, collecting, you took, like, a couple from me, too. <laughs> yeah, man. I, I got a bunch from a bunch of people, man. It's cool. Um, I, I still get DVDs. I remember when I started buying uh, Blu-rays and stuff, I was like, oh, I'm not going to buy dvds anymore but you know there's a lot of movies that uh, aren't released on blu-ray like um i had to get white chicks on uh on dvd because you know that movie's not gonna be on blu-ray that I'm surprised i was even able to find that after rewatching, i'm like oh man this movie's insane <laughs> it's, it's uh, just funny to think because like everything's moving forward and dvds are becoming less um yeah like uh what you call it? like less uh, uh, um yeah, everyone's streaming now. Yeah, everybody's on streaming. It's easier. You don't have to go anywhere. And even me, like, I kind of just lost that thing where I have a fire stick now and everything's just uh, available to me then and there. Yeah. Th- there's times where I'm like, I, you know, I like streaming. It's the convenience of it. A lot of the Blu-rays, when I buy them, they'll come with, like, the code. And I'll put the code onto my Voodoo account or onto my, like, uh, Movies Anywhere account. So then I can watch it without having to get up or I can let my parents watch it or um, put on my phone. My kids can watch it if we go somewhere. Um, but then it sucks when, you know, I'm sitting there, I'm on, you know, scrolling through Hulu or Netflix. And I'm like, oh man, I want to watch this movie. And you're, you have to go through all these different streaming sites to try to find this find one movie. One. Yeah. And then, yeah. And then yeah. it's like, oh, I just have it on my shelf. Yeah. I mean, I'm not going to say I have or something or not, but, you know, the fire stick is pretty convenient. I'm just going to say that. Yeah, yeah. especially when it's, <laughs> when it's like a, a jailbroken one. Um, I, I, I'm not saying I have a jailbroken, but, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have mine somewhere. I, I don't know what happened to it. Um, I need to whip it out, hook it up to my TV downstairs. Why is there a... What is that? Oh, I need to hook it up to my TV because, yeah, I, I really want to watch The Northman again. But I that feel like fantastic. ultimately you're going to be kind of like a trendsetter because, I mean, you did the same thing with Pops. Like, you know, you had that one thing. What was it called? Yeah. 
what was your your instagram called oh, yeah, then? master funko yeah master funko and then that that kind of blew up a little bit you got like like over yeah. two thousand followers or something like that yeah that was cool i i uh, changed the name on that one to uh, um the one i have now the john slays because yeah. i was like i'm not i don't really i didn't buy a pop like my mom bought me a pop when she went out of town the other day um but it's like i haven't been buying in a while like i just went through all the ones i have um i pulled out all the ones that i don't want and like that i'm gonna sell right uh, so if, if you want any, I'll let you know because I see you got a couple what? back there. Yeah. I, I've um, only been buying the ones that I kind of like and see. Like I got some. Uh, yeah, I see you both some. Yeah, I got some Ninja Turtle ones that my girlfriend got me, and then like I got some anime ones that I've been watching, and I'm like, okay, I like these anime pops. I'm gonna get them. When I first started, uh, like liquidating my pops, um, like I had them all in my parents' garage at one point. Did you make money off of that? Yeah, I made a decent amount. That's pretty good. But um, because I had them just in my parents' garage for a long time, so I finally got to the point where I was like, okay, I'm never gonna display these. Let me just let me sell these, and so I sold a bunch of them. And I had like an entire, not the entire, but that Ninja Turtle set. I had all four turtles. I had um, Shredder, and I had the Foot Soldier, and uh, Splinter. What's the girl's name? Um, like Amy or something. Mm. Uh, and then Bebop and Rocksteady. Those are my two favorite. Those ones were worth so much. It was insane. I remember when I got them, I found them at some comic book store. Oh, it's not open anymore. Uh, I got them for like 10 bucks each. And I remember mm. when I sold them, they were worth like 90 bucks. Oh, shit. What, what was your most expensive pop? Uh, right now, I still have it. Um, it's actually, it's in John David, my son's room. Oh. Uh, it's Buzz Lightyear. It's like a, the nine inch or ten inch buzz light year I, I don't know how much that one's worth i think it's like a hundred two hundred dollars um Damn. Well, uh, a couple of them i have they they're gonna keep going up and down uh i have a moon knight pop that i got back when you know i was trying to get a bunch of marvel ones before the show came out um it was like a walgreens exclusive that one's worth like 120 right now you know i got it at walgreens yeah. for whatever 10 bucks and then uh, I see a couple of the that Professor Xavier one where he's I have the OG one that was like my when I first got pops I bought four pops and that was like one of them and it was he's like sitting in the yellow chair yeah that one's been getting a uh, going up in price because in the new Doctor Strange trailer you can see uh, if I don't know if you watched it I don't know you could see Professor Xavier roll in in his yellow chair. Mm-mm, I haven't seen it. <laughs> oh, dude, that movie's. I'm gonna go. What's today? I'm gonna go like some uh, two days. We're gonna go watch that. I'm stoked. Okay. Yeah. No, I know that there's a very expensive one that one of my friends has. I'm, I don't know if you remember him, Tony. He was kind of yeah. like yeah. He, he, he has, has two kids now. Yeah. Yeah. Two boys. Yeah. Yeah, and he has a he has a Brook pop, and that's just like six hundred dollars. Brook, like yeah, from One Piece. From- Oh, okay, I was like, I yeah, don't the, know. What the that skeleton. Is. I, oh, okay, yeah. I, I probably watched like two episodes of One Piece back when me and my sister were watching anime when we were younger. Um, Just two. It's funny. I was, yeah, uh, it's funny. I, whenever I go to Zia Records to like look at um, movies and stuff, I always look at the animes because I'm trying to find, uh, I don't know if you ever watched it, um, Fooly Cooly was a super awesome anime I watched when I was younger. Um, always trying to find it. I see it on Amazon all the time, but. It's like thirty dollars. I'm like, maybe if I see it in person, it'll be not thirty dollars. Mm. Well, super no, cool I, anime. I'm, I'm like super into anime right now. I like I yeah. more than ever, more than ever. Because back then, I, I dabbled a little bit. I I really fucking took into uh, Naruto and One Piece. Like I would binge those shows every summer d- during high school, and that's all I did. And then now, more than ever, I'm rewatching One Piece. I'm I've I've watched Tokyo Ghoul already. I I've gotten uh what's it called uh My Hero Academia is like a really good one that came out and I love that one. Uh, Hunter X Hunter is a good one. I've heard of all these, but Demon um, Slayer is one of the new age kind of animes that kind of have like a yeah. really good art style to it. It's kind of like a pop art style and it's like so good. It's so yeah. good. I know what you're talking about. I've seen all these because like all these have pops, and I was like, I always see them advertised. And uh, I think the anime I probably watched the most in my lifetime, from when I was younger, uh, was probably Inuyasha. Because like now, Inuyasha. I, I mean, like that was one thing where you just kind of go in from 
Cartoon Network to, to yeah. Toonami, and then that's like one of the first episodes that pop up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, me and my sister, she loved Inuyasha. I remember she had a like a scroll of all the characters in her room, and she had a bunch of DVDs. Um, it was a good show. I think I might have like a DVD or two. I'm not gonna waste my time looking. Um, <laughs> Inuyasha, uh, Trigon or Vash the Stampede. I, I don't know what the show is like advertised as. I've been looking for it also when I'm Bleach. at Zero. Bleach is also Bleach was good, yeah. Bleach was good. Um What was that one? I, I guess it's still it's kind of as anime cuz when I think of anime, I think of, you know, you know like action fights An- that one. No, anime is just closed. cartoons, dude. It's just any cartoon okay. is an anime. Like Japanese? Yeah. Like Japanese? Dude, Samurai influenced. Jack was an anime. That was classic. It. Power or Powerpuff Girls was an anime. You just don't think about it that way because you kind of watched it as yeah. Network. And, and Eddie, yeah, that's a, that's an anime too, dude. Because it's an animated yeah. cartoon. You know what I'm saying? It's, yeah. It's just kind of anime, just anything cartoon or a- animated. Attack on Titan was pretty good. Oh, I watched man, a couple dude. episodes of. Uh, I think I finished good. the first two seasons of that. It just gets better. But, dude. Yeah, I. I just got Crunchyroll on my uh, my TV. Mm. I was looking at it, and I I was about to sign up for the free trial. But I was like, let me wait until I'm actually going to watch a show, so I don't waste any days, yeah, and then I'll watch uh, it. Fire stick, fire anime. Uh, don't yeah, uh. I need to get my fire stick so I can watch more animes. Cause yeah, like I've been watching a lot more uh, adult animated shows with my kids mm. now, that, like as they're getting older. So it's not just that too. Dude. You, I feel like you, you're a really good dad, bro. You, you're what you're, you're, you're not letting them watch kind of that bullshit. Like that's everything. What's called uh, baby what, shark, like uh, cocoa yeah, melon, yeah, cocoa melon, all that like uh, brainwashing stuff. You're actually yeah, showing them good cartoons and and movies. And I'm, I'm like, dude, these he knows what's up. He knows what he's doing. Yeah, um, because it's like I have to sit there and watch it too. I don't have to, you know what I mean? But they're um, there. But, yeah. yeah so it's like if they're gonna watch them and i'm not yeah i'll put on something that's luckily disney plus is the thing and i have you know i have so many movies so i have a lot of like a lot of movies i had like i snaked like all my parents dvds when i when i moved out so it was like <laughs> all the movies that i watched when i was a kid so uh i, I love telling them whenever they're like because i like you can kind of see it. it's like i think it's that one yeah that's like all just i went through and pulled out like all of the movies for the kids and put them all in that section so that they can just whenever they want go and grab a movie and they know how to uh put it in the xbox and if the controller's on they know how to turn the controller on too but uh push you know a green button (laughs) i just say green button and push play and stuff to like just see them grow up and like figure shit out themselves (laughs) <laughs> oh, it's incredible. Yeah, we actually went to uh, the Discovery Museum today, which is cool. Uh, you've probably never been there because no. you don't have, you don't have any kids. I always I'd wanted to go there, there with my nieces, but you know, I just haven't had. It's cool, man. Either. Definitely uh, check it out. I uh, I'd always seen it like driving on the freeway, but uh, we went there a couple weeks ago and it was awesome. Um, and then we tried to go like two weeks ago on a Monday and they were closed because. It was like they're open all every day except for Monday because of school. So we were able to uh, – the kids didn't go to school today, so we went early this morning at like uh, 12. So they are open at 10. It was cool. We, unfortunately, there was like a field trip there. So there <laughs> so was – So you had to be with everybody. <laughs> so yeah, there was like a, a million kids. But <laughs> like after like an hour or two – or like an hour and a half being there, they all left. So we – for like 45 minutes, we had pretty much like the whole place to ourselves, which is cool. It's like three different levels of – all this different stuff that the kids can do. It's like a area with Legos, place where they can like build little things that they can put in like this thing that makes it fly. So many, th- it's it's insane. That's it's cool. cool. Uh, I wish I went to stuff like that when I was a kid. Oh, um, we all man. Some, I mean, yeah. <laughs> the only um, thing that I was, was sticks and rocks outside, skateboards, yeah. bicycles. Dude, yeah. Let's. <laughs> I think about it when I think back to being younger. I'm like, man, I used to walk home from school and just play Call of Duty. <laughs> And it, dude, like that used to be the fucking <laughs> life, dude. We, we would be like yeah. looking at the clock just so we can go home, so we could play with the boys all the way till two or three in the morning, knowing damn well we gotta be up at six. Yeah, I'm gonna, gonna, gonna go prestige master. <laughs> I think seventh grade, I almost failed seventh grade because of COD four. One hundred <laughs> combination COD four and my grandma passing away. R.I.P. Grandma. Um, because like she passed away, and then we had to like go to Colorado. 
or she got sick and we went to Colorado and then she got better and then we came back and then she passed away so we went back. So I missed like a month of school and my grades were just awful because, you know. Uh, so I almost, and then I, before that, I uh, just didn't do my homework because I was just grinding so much. Co- Man, I had like 70 days on COD 4. I love that game. No, yeah, I, I just remember the hype of like midnight releases or like we just had to go yeah. find a ride we're going to get this game tonight and getting to fucking prestige one tonight <laughs> yeah i remember watching machinima doing those just not even 24 hours just constant streams day, day where they day. have their content creators playing for hour like blocks trying to get the account to prestige master before anyone else I'm like man and now that Machinima's gone, I'm like, I wonder how like awful that was for for those people. You know what I mean? Like all I ever hear is like horror stories about Machinima. Yeah. Like, they... Everyone was they must have hated their lives. Like, yo, I don't wanna play another three hours. <laughs> like, I mean, like, and that was before like, you know, gaming was getting paid, you know. They were doing yeah, that shit they were just barely for a getting hobby. paid. They were yeah, if anything, they were getting minimum wage. Yeah. That's the crazy thing. Brand. I mean, you think about right. it now and just creating content in general, like, and people that slave away just yeah. trying to make it. Yeah. I mean, I mean think about me. I I did streaming for almost two years and barely made, I don't know, close to $2,000, something like that in two years. Yeah. I was always, it's always so cool whenever I saw you post a video or saw you go live or saw you, I'm like, man, he's he's doing it. I was dude, awesome. I was so dedicated. It's just that it took so much time out of my life, and it also yeah. like it drained me like completely, dude. Like I would go on every day trying to top myself. You know what I mean? So like yeah. when I get off, I'm like, damn, that was a great podcast. Or that was a great stream. I was like, what am I gonna do tomorrow though? And if I can't top tomorrow, I'm not getting on until I have a good idea. Yeah, and that was really. that was the problem, dude. I got to the point where I started putting on dresses and shit and fucking dancing for the stream, and <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like it was that kind of that kind most. of dedication, and and I got yeah. to the point where I was getting like a hundred subs a month, and I'm like, holy shit, this is working. But like, yeah. it gets to the point where like I was so tired. I was at up. what cost? Yeah, I was literally going to work, coming home. Turn it on the stream. Stream for like three to four, maybe five hours. Get off. Find the best clips of that stream. Edit those down. Get at least two or three so I could post on Instagram. Post that on Instagram. Post that on TikTok. Post maybe a YouTube video. And then by that, it's like literally eight hours of work. Five hours of stream. Grind. Four or five hours editing. Getting ready to post for the next day. And by then, it's like two or three in the morning. And I got to get up at six again. Yeah, it's the grind, bro. But Jeez. nobody nobody sees that, man. It's like the yeah. that's the one true thing about being a small creator with no help and a true dream of passion. Yeah. Biggest is it's commitment, dedication to when you're streaming and you got no viewers to just keep on streaming. And like yeah, that's a, that just... was like that was a super toxic mindset. Is like I would get on, I'd get like thirty plus viewers. They see I'm either gonna be doing the same thing today, it drops back down to like five viewers, you know. Yeah. If, but if it's like, oh, he's doing something new, oh, he's doing a cooking stream, let's fucking uh, yeah. put our two cents in. I have like little challenge lists, I have like little tiers. So if you want to buy something, you can like write on my face, or I can try something nasty. I could put like some toxic, like you know, like stuff like that, and and it would keep the chat entertained. But like, at what point did I keep doing that? I had I had a fucking wheel of pain i don't know where it is it's over there i had a wheel of pain you know like every time that they would uh cheer five bucks i'd spin it and it'd be like a wheel of like doing the hottest hot sauce or like doing 20 push-ups <laughs> or something you know what i mean yeah so like I, I, uh... like when i finally stopped like everything that i did because i wanted to take a break and kind of just like calm down i was like i was burning out and i couldn't think of anything i was doing less and less streams so i was like i'm gonna chill out take about two weeks off and then when i took those two weeks off it was just hard to get back into that mindset again like to snap back in and try to like grind some more because i just didn't have it in me to do that every day and then now um like 
I moving moving out made it even worse because I have more responsibilities. I have a girlfriend that needs her attention too. You know, it's not like I can just be on here for six hours a day and ignore her. It's not. It's just not right. Yeah, yeah, and it's crazy. Then you go on, you know, you get off the stream or off your making a video or you post a video, and you'll see someone else's content, and it's something like. That they took like a second to make and has like five million likes and like a hundred million <laughs> views and it's like, all right, <laughs> okay, I and guess. Then, uh, and then you spend like three you... hours editing a one minute clip and then it gets like two hundred views and that's it. Yeah, yeah. It's like, <laughs> oh, that's the worst. It's like, okay, let me not. Next time I won't do it. And then you do a video, like on my that movie TikTok I have. Um, you know, I just. That one, I love that one. Like, my Tales of Horror one's awesome. I like doing that one. Um, but it's so toxic uh, at this point now, just because, like, most of my videos are just about, you know, bad things. Um, you know, mur like, murders and serial killers and, yeah. cr like, crashes and collisions and floods. And um, so it's like there's never comments on it that are like oh man uh i don't know have, have like i hope you have a good day or um <laughs> it's always like ah oh. that was cool like, can't it, wait for the next one yeah it, it's man uh they deserve that it's like bro what it's like <laughs> i, know, a video I, I about seen the recent people. one where they're like i saw the comment section they're like who cares he's dead <laughs> Who? yeah like like are you kidding me um, and it's the worst when I do ones about specific, uh, people or specific areas of people. Um, like I, I did a video about Malcolm X and a bunch of people were like, oh, he got what he deserved. I'm like, what? What do you, what do you, what are you talking about? Or they're just commenting laughing faces or so. I'm like, bruh. Um, and like other people that like die, like accidentally, uh, like overdose or killed themselves or it's like, Yup, world doesn't need them. I'm just like, <laughs> but then I go on my my other one and I post stuff and it's just like, I love that movie, bro. Yeah, I seen like, some yes. of those too. Yeah, like that's well, yes. I mean that's more like something that people can relate to because you're actually talking yes. to the audience and not like uh, like on your tales of horror where you're kind of just telling a story and they just gotta yeah. listen compared to where your your good movies daily is that what's called right? Yeah, yeah, that one I uh you just talk to the audience and like tell your experiences and like when you go into the movies and then you come back out and you say what you yeah. feel. So I mean like I I could see that like people are more invested cool. and want to talk to you or like they want to leave a good comment saying like I like that. Yeah. Uh I uh I love doing and it's cool like when we go cuz we go to the movies a lot. Um is it out of reach? I think it's out of reach and I have short shorts on. Uh, <laughs> I have like we have all of our uh, movie tickets, and oh, um, so you just save them. Yeah, because we want to get like a shadow box and put them on there. Yeah. But they're over there. I was gonna show you. Like we go all the time, and then like, we take the kids all the time because uh, they do pretty good at the movies. I say pretty good because a lot of times um, they do crappy. Like I took them recently to watch uh, uh, when they we watched Sonic Two recently. That was a really good movie. Really, it was pretty good. Yeah, Jim Carrey was good. Definitely. He carried that movie. They will make a third one, and we will get him as Fat Eggman, which will be cool. <laughs> I don't know if you're a Sonic. See, that's what right? I'm talking about. Okay, he just has so much detail into movies and stuff that you just you wouldn't. That'd be cool, man. Did you watch? I mean, did you play Sonic growing up or watch like yeah. the shows or anything? Well, yeah, no, like you know how. Wait, where's that? Yeah, look at that. Somewhere. Sonic and the Dragon Road, man. Okay, so you know how Eggman's supposed to be fat. Yeah. Um. So yeah. Um. I think what they'll do is, because like in the end of this one, some ha something happens to him. He like gets defeated, but we don't see what I he like vanishes. So I think that someone somehow he's gonna end up being get taken in by somebody, um, and is like nursing him back to health. But it's just over. I don't want to take this as credit. My girlfriend, this is her, this is her saying it that because he has like this henchman, the guy who like just follows him. He's gonna like take him in un while he's unconscious and just feed him, and just he's gonna wake up after a couple months and just be, you know, five hundred pounds or something insane. <laughs> um, and that's how we're gonna get Fat Eggman. Because other than that, I'm like, there's, 
I don't know. But I, I really want that because he wants it too. Uh, I watched an interview and he was talking about it with, I don't know, some some news place saying how he wants, you know, he was pushing for Fat Eggman, but they weren't down. Mm. They were saying, nah. Uh, why did I start talking about Sonic? Oh, we went to watch Sonic. They did pretty good. <laughs> uh, we went to watch Bad Guys and they did okay. Um, I guess it depends if I go by myself. Because if I go with Madeline, um, you know, then we can like double team them and it's not that bad. But when I go by myself, it's like, I gotta make sure we sit like in a decent row, cross my fingers that there's nobody there. It's like we went the other day and I looked online and there was no one there. I was like, yes. So I could just chill and they could run around the row and I, I won't feel bad for the people behind me or anything. Uh, and I go to pick the tickets because I stopped buying it on the app because there's like fees and stuff. And they're like a full theater. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> but we already got, drove there. And they were super hyped. So I was like, fuck. We got to watch it. And it was good. But like, I took him to watch uh, Princess Mononoke, which is you know, like an anime studio, uh, studio Ghibli movie. Uh-huh. I, don't if you, I don't know if you watch any no, of those. I've seen that. It's the same people who did uh, Spirited Away and like Howl's Moving Castle. And um, what's that other one? A bunch of those. Uh, Howl's Moving Castle, Spirited Away. Uh, just a bunch of, you know, just anime. Right. Like you were saying, super awesome. It's I love watching those movies. So much appreciation, especially with those. Like I appreciate movies, even if it's a bad movie, just because it's like someone made, put, spent the time and effort to make this movie. But with those, because it's like every frame in those is hand drawn, even though there's computer animation now and they can do it all at a on a computer screen and copy and paste this. You know, they every cell they got you know a billion film cells. It's insane. And then you watch the movie with that in mind. It's like, holy cow. This movie's awesome. Well, what about um, with right. you? With, why? Why are you sorry? Uh, I just started rambling there. No, that's good, dude. That's a good thing. You know, it keeps it keeps the data not there. Okay. You know, whenever you keep talking, as long as you have something to say, I'm willing to listen. You know what I'm saying? Okay. But yeah. you were talking about getting into... Um, like speaking of movies and stuff, but what about like you know your voice acting? How do you think that's going with you, or like how? You, oh, yeah. How are you putting your first foot in? Okay, so I voice. This is probably the one thing voice acting and like YouTube and stuff is the one thing that since like mid high school, middle school, I wanted to do that I just kept not doing or like researching and reaching out to people and not really knowing exactly where to. So it's like I still get so many emails from other. Like newsletters and programs I like signed up for, but never like, paid. You know, like what you're supposed to do for like voice acting and stuff. It's like what you, they want you to do is sign up for a workshop. You know, now there's probably ones you can do online with COVID and everything and mm. everything being digital. Uh, do a workshop online, and then you you'll build up a portfolio of uh, you know like a couple of sample voices that you can do. Doesn't have to be, you know, you're not. It you know, doesn't have to be like Mr. Krabs or Plankton or anything, but like, oh, your reading voice, your normal voice, and then, um, I had like I had so many different websites that I was trying, but right now, what I'm trying to do, I saw a video, and it was a completely irrelevant video to the to this topic. This is a guy who goes to, like garage sales and stuff, and he had a guy comment on his video and was like, hey, uh, I want to get into uh, I want to start doing this, but I don't know where how to start. Like, can you help? And he was like, I have no idea about you know that uh, area, you know, voice acting. But if I if it was me, this is what I would do. And so I started doing what he said, and it was start a Fiverr account. And like I had looked into Fiverr before. Right. It's like I had heard of Fiverr. Um, I heard good stories and bad stories. Um, and I was like, you know, might as well. Um, so right now I'm still in the process of like setting it up because like I made the account already and I'm like setting up my first gig, but you have to you have to have like you don't have to have a video, but you have to have like three samples at least of like three different your like what you're offering. Yeah. You know, so like movie voice, just normal reading voice, like side it, you know, whatever. <laughs> just a bunch of different and then you uh uh I think I want a picture of like my face mm-hmm. and then something else. There's something else. I, I could probably just pull it up. I still have it open. 
Why don't you? Um, why don't you have? Uh, have you ever tried like, or thought right, of trying? Right. You know those uh, videos like on TikTok where you can duet and be like, put your voice in. Why don't you ever like, yeah. try those duets? Have you tried that? I did. Oh, I am so right now. Let me close that. <laughs> um, <laughs> I did. I did a couple of those on my um my tales of horror one when I started, but then I deleted them because uh-huh. I was like, I don't want. I was going through a weird thing where uh, when I was starting tales of horror, I was like, oh, I don't want people to know. Who I am? Like? Yeah, yeah, <clears throat> yeah. It's like if you figure out who I like, what I look like, then okay. But um, because it's funny, I'll get people commenting like, "Is this you? Like, is this you, John?" It's and I see it's like Louis or you know the twins, Alexis or Alexander or something. Uh, and so I'm like, yeah, man, because they'll like find me from like their contacts or something. I have that turned off, so I don't. I don't get how that still happens. Um, but yeah. Like that that's like the other thing too about like TikTok and stuff. Right now when I got that fucking three million views <laughs> out, of, insane, dude. out of nowhere and then I'm over here looking at all my content like, Oh my god, dude, they're gonna look at my other stuff, is it okay? <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah, three million when I saw that whatever when it before it hit a million, I was like, Man, that's it's a lot. Really no, yeah, but, and, the, and that's like it's, that's like the stuff that pissed me off too, dude. Like, cause you put so much thought into like making videos, and you like put so much like heart into like editing and like doing all this stuff, and then I go ahead and just fucking jump on the bed and put a stupid caption. And it's so fucking, crappy. Yeah, dude, I, yeah. I put a stupid caption, and it gets three million views, and then it's like super controversial, and I'm over here fucking fighting in the comments because they don't understand what a joke is. <laughs> yeah, that's what. That's what sucks, man. Cause same thing on my good movies one. Um, For anybody like I, that doesn't know, I just want to like say that the TikTok that I posted was me jumping on a bed, putting a caption, and then I said, um, like moving out with my girlfriend for freedom, and she makes me do more chores than my mom ever did. And the I'm girls back. in the comment section were like, you're a man, or like, man baby, or run, red flag. And I'm like, bro, it was a joke. <laughs> a like, what the flag. fuck? <laughs> yeah, that had me dead. <laughs> Sorry, uh, I, I just dying. wanted to put in the contents for that. So to what you saying? Yeah, that was... Yeah. Because yeah. I did a video. Because again, like, on my good movies one, I'm not too... Because that one, I like being able to do the videos. Um, and if you watch them, yeah, they watch it. Because I like, you know, just talking about movies. And if that ends up getting a bunch of... If that ends up being a thing, then that's cool. Um, but I did a video. Uh, we went to... We were just driving. And we ended up going to Arizona. I think it was Arizona. And we just went to a random... Yeah, no, we went to uh, Laughlin. And then we ended up driving to, like, a Target in Laughlin. And while we were there... Or and then we went to a Walmart. I was looking at the movies. And there was just, like, a cheap DVD, like, box set of... Uh, some Cartoon Network movies. I don't know if you saw it on my page. Mm. Um, and I was just like, oh, let me record this real quick. And I didn't record anything like that on my page. Everything was like reviews or me showing like movies in my own collection. But I was just like, oh, four dollars at Walmart. That's a steal. Oh, I did uh, see that one. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. it was, you know, it's like five seconds long. Um, it's at like almost 600,000 views. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, it's because look, that's what I told you. That that's what I told you in the in uh in the D, in your DMs when I was when I I was watching your videos for so long already, and I just like every time I'm watching, I'm like, fuck, you're so boring. <laughs> <laughs> I remember you used to tell me that about um my so uh, Minecraft I finally videos. I finally had enough because I saw that video and it had like I don't know a couple hundred likes, and I'm I like, bro, please, <laughs> please shorten the dead air because you're like, so and so had a gun. Quiet, quiet. It's and then like he in killed. my head. <laughs> and then he killed his whole family. Quiet, <laughs> quiet, quiet. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah. oh. I'm like, all right, bro. After you were telling me, I was thinking about it. I was like, I know what you meant because TikTok's got to be fast paced. Yeah, people fast. are just going to scroll away. Because, like, um, the second you say something and then you're quiet, they're like, okay, next. <laughs> that's it. Because, um, yeah, I do all of it just in phone. So I'm like, yeah, I could tell. I'll, I'll get all my, <laughs> I'll get all my like pictures that I'm getting, I, and it's like, as I've gotten, I've been doing it more. I've been, I don't want to say I'm getting better. Uh, but I guess lazy is the better word. Uh, I used to make a script, like a a rough script. Like I would 
go through and get all the information I need for my like story that I'm telling, and I would have it like on my computer or I would have it written down like on a piece of paper, um, and then I would so that when I'm recording I can just be looking at that, you know, and I'm making the story up in my head. Yeah, you just like have as I'm reading points. it. Uh, yeah, but now, <laughs> now I'm just like, all right, um, on on this day, and then I'll, I'll like go to my internet, you know, and I'm like, all right, so this is what I'm, re- this is what it's about. I'm like, all right, I go, I go. so yeah, I need to be better about it. Um, it's like I'm going like opposite, because when I started, yeah, I was, yeah, I love going back and watching my older videos because I'm like. Oh, I'm this. I was doing like voice. <laughs> um, now I'm just like, uh, hey, uh, this happened. Yep. Yeah. Um, no, and that's what I'm saying. So like, I was like, give me the video that you <laughs> want me to edit. I'll edit it down for you. I oh. cut it for. It was literally a whole minute long. I cut it down to about thirty seconds. It got the same yeah. information out, and it sounded way yeah. better because where it what where it needed to be quiet, I put in, and where it needed to just keep going, I put in, and I cut yeah. everything else out. I appreciate you, man. That was awesome. I was like, my God. But then I got banned. I haven't, I haven't posted. So it's like, I got banned um, for like a couple days after that. So I was like, okay, whatever. I'll have a video locked and loaded for like the mo- like soon as I'm unbanned. So I got unbanned. Uh, uploaded a video. And so it's like, at this point, I've uploaded so many and gotten so many. I've had like so many videos taken down that I know what it'll like. It could literally be one picture, and it's like if I say something wrong, it'll get taken down for my words. It's insane. Um, mm-hmm. And so in this one, I think what I did wrong, uh, only like four people watched it. So <laughs> uh, it was about like this shooting at um, this guy went to his school in Germany uh, where he got expelled the previous year. He went in with a gun and just shot. He shot 12 teachers. Whoa, man. And accidentally Don't get us shot. Then. I was playing. <laughs> 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 okay, he he injured and ruined a lot of lives. There we go. You cut that last part out. He ruined a lot of lives. Um, and in the pictures, it was like a picture of him, just like like a high school like high school photo, picture of the school, a picture of two kids like that someone took from like outside the school, like hiding by like inside like the windows, oh. you know, like they were calling for help, and then. Uh, a picture of like a memorial outside the school, so it was like a bunch of flowers. But I think the picture that got me was right in the middle. I put, uh, I was like, oh, his influence that they cited. It's like all this stuff's like facts, history. Um, they said that his influence, which they discovered in his computer, was Columbine. So I put a picture of the two dudes in the cafeteria at Columbine. Like, uh, and it's just them, like, sta- yeah, just topic. them standing there with the. With, with the their gun. guns. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, well that's probably the guns. It's not it's yeah. not them in the in the cafeteria, it's the guns. I was like, oh so and then <laughs> I got banned for uh until that was twenty seventh, twenty eighth. And I'm still banned until Yeah, no, I think... every time I try to send you I try to send you a video it says this count is banned. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, yeah, I'm like, dang it. And well, it's that's like, like that's like so dumb though, because it's not even Usually it's not even TikTok. It's like the person they're like yeah. insensitive and they're like, "Oh my God, come on, Mike. <laughs> it's a good." And then I go and I'm like, "Okay," and I'll legit feel uh, like I'm not a Karen or anything, but I'll, like I'll see a video on TikTok and I'm like, "I don't want to see that." And like I'll put it not interested and I'll even like report it because it's just like, "How is this on TikTok?" But my stuff's getting taken down. But and that's TikTok what I'm will saying, be dude. So petty, bro. They'll send me notifications like. Oh, hey, thanks for your reporting. There's nothing wrong. We're keeping their video up. <laughs> I've never gotten that. <laughs> Dude, I get that. It's, yeah, it's like, hey, your video is bad. It's, it's, sorry, your appeal was, like, I'll put the appeal in on mine when they, like, take it down. And then I'll, like, go to refresh it. And it's already, like, they gave me a result. And it's like, nope, sorry. Um, oh, but, yeah, crazy. other people. I've appealed awful, a bro. couple of my videos. and they, Like, all the videos that got um, banned two days ago. Cause I yeah. so I made that three million video and then I made a response for the femi- feminist, but it wasn't actually a feminist attack. I just wanted to put it on there because it was all girls. Yeah. And like the comment section, there were like I guess 
harassing me. I thought it was because like the what I put was harassment, yeah. but TikTok was saying like they told they're me protecting that, that they're protecting me, so they took the video down. And I was yeah. like, bitch, fucking put it back up. <laughs> and then they put it yeah. back up. And then I posted the other one where uh where I kind of did the same thing, but like I did it as uh, food this time. Like my girlfriend doesn't make food every day like my mom did. And then they took it down for dangerous acts. <laughs> Oh, and I had to put I had to put on the peel. I, there was pillows on the ground. <laughs> Your dog, maybe the animal abuse. I, <laughs> no, I was reading the comments. I was like, I was looking through the comments, looking for someone to be like, "You could have fell on the dog." Yeah, there was like, like one or two of them like that. I love. That's one of my favorite things about TikTok is when I go on my for you page, um, and it's just some video, <laughs> and instantly I'm like. I gotta read these comments. <laughs> that's, a, that's it. That's exactly how it felt when you looked at my video and you see 400k likes and like 10,000 comments. Like, yeah, yeah, I gotta I see like, what's uh, happening. <laughs> you're just responding to all of them. It's like my hero, man. <laughs> um, yeah, I, uh, I've had, I think on Tales of Horror, the video I had the most views. Um, I've had a bunch. I've had a lot. Like I did one about Kim Jong. Nam, who you know, Kim Kim Jong Un's brother, yeah, who got assassinated. That one got a bunch of views. Um, but it's yeah, I did this one a, a couple months ago, uh, and it got a bunch of views, but it was like negative views because I said like uh, I said something wrong in the video. Um, because it was about like an elevator that fell and a bunch of people died in the elevator. Oh, I think I seen uh, that. People were like correcting you. Yeah, comments. they're like, uh, actually, yeah, because I was like, oh, the elevator fell uh, 300 miles per hour. And they're like, um, terminal velocity is um, 100. And... <laughs> I was like, my bad, bro. So I had to make a, like, a the fucking comet to warriors it. are nuts, dude. Yeah, I was oh, like, my, my fault, bro. I made no, a mistake. No, and then they don't let it go either. Like, one person will say it, and then, the, like, a hundred yeah. other people will say the exact same thing. Like, I'm like, bro, I heard it already. Come on. And that's the other thing, too. So, like, I put the wrong than, you know, T H A N. And then the comments were like, uh, other than what? <laughs> that's the wrong than. Yeah. I'm like, bro, I'm getting like, full on cool. attacked, and you got to fucking put that in there. Come on, man. Let's leave me alone. Yeah, I, uh, <laughs> yeah, on that one I did with the movie where it was like the $4. A guy comments in and was like, because I did $4, and I put the dollar sign after the four. Uh-huh. I was standing in Walmart, and it was like, I wasn't thinking anything of it. And he was like, uh, in the U.S., <laughs> I wish I had, I could probably pull it up, but he was like, in a U.S. denomination, um, the dollar sign goes after uh, the money, before the, after the number. Before the number. It, <laughs> yeah, before the number in uh, U.S. currency, uh, just so you know. With like a smiley face, <laughs> and I just like replied with like a thumbs up. Like, yeah, no oh, one likes you, no. bro. <laughs> God. Um. <laughs> uh, you play Call of Duty? At all, <laughs> the still? Total switch up. <laughs> just the switch up, bro. I just uh, think of Call of Duty. I have, I have something I want to talk about. Yeah, no, I have, I haven't played. Um, well, I've, I've, I was playing Warzone when I took my break. I kind of just like played offline for a while with my friends, and I was playing Warzone. I was at, I was playing the uh, like the Rebirth Island. That was so, like, fun. so fucking fun. So fun, bro. It changed That's the where game it's at right now. Yeah, yeah. They kind of messed it up. I'm not gonna lie. Um, now, yeah, because they so because it's like when Caldera came out, we didn't have Rebirth. We just had big map Caldera, which was you know which is ass. Um, so everyone like hopped off the game, switched back to, you know, Apex or whatever, Fortnite. And then Call of Duty was like, okay, okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. And they put Rebirth back. And so that was awesome. But then now so many people play Rebirth. They don't play Caldera. There's all these streamers that host Rebirth like tournaments, um, and like gaming organizations that host Rebirth tournaments. Like they're not hosting Caldera tournaments. Um, uh, and so, like, now Call of Duty's, like, putting all this money and time into Rebirth Island, which is, like, you, you don't need to do that. It was perfectly <laughs> fine how it was. Um, like, in the last big update, not in Season 6, but before Season 6, um, they... Because you played Rebirth, you were just saying. So, like, they changed str- uh, security. So, like, security's stronghold now. So, mm-hmm. instead of just dropping out of security, there's, like... 
bunch of buildings. There's like a tower back there where you know I've gotten like three or four wins sitting in that tower. Like you can just literally tower camp and security now, which is insane. Um, what else is new? I think strongholds. And then there's two boats now, like on either side, where there's a pretty dead areas on the map. Um, like where heart, uh, like the down by control, where it goes down, kind of like where the helicopter pad is, and on the opposite side, like, by Nova, there's, like, two boats that came in, and you could go on the boats, um, that but then they put, like, because it's, yeah, I haven't played that. It's, it's insane, and they added gas, like, the, because on the big map, like, this gas thing that's going on, like, in the story of the, of the multiplayer, you know, because they always have, like, a story going yeah. on, there's, like, this gas that they're dealing with, they introduced that into Rebirth Island, yeah, Reaper's good. It's cool. When they first made the switch to where it's like the two boats and everything, I was always just talking crap. I was still playing it. I'm that guy who's like, oh, bro, every game. I'm like, I hate my life. I hate this game. But then I'm like, all right, where are we dropping? Um, I didn't like it at first, but, you know, I'm, I like it. But now they nerfed all the snipers, which is, uh, which sucks. They love sniping. I know. So, that all of, That's like the one thing that was pretty shitty is that no sniper is good. They all yeah. suck. Yeah, like, I got real good with the Car 98, and they nerfed that now. So it's like, you'll... I don't know if it's like the distance thing. It's, they just did a lot. They nerfed a lot of the snipers, a lot of the subs. Um, so it's like weird trying to find a gun that's good right now. I'm in this weird spot where every time I turn my computer on and I'm, like, starting a battle net, I'm like, should I start up... Uh minecraft instead <laughs> and then you're, like, getting nah. that, you're getting that that itch that itch of a two yeah. month binge i know that you get those at least like twice a year <laughs> dude i love minecraft my... man it's just like dude, the only thing that i've never done is actually play full to get to the ender dragon i've always just fucking yeah. played say that we're gonna go to the ender dragon and then we just end up building our houses to fucking completion and then we kind of stop playing <laughs> yeah um I have never got to the Ender Dragon. Yeah, me neither. That's what Le- I'm legit, legit. Oh, legit. I've never said that out loud. <laughs> I, I've never got there legit. Because you have to find a yeah, fucking... Yeah, you have to find a bunch of bullshit. You gotta find those eyes that like fly through the fucking air and you have to find that Well, you gotta portal. craft them. You gotta make get pearls from the fucking ender people, uh, the ender guy. Find that portal randomly somewhere in a cave in some stronghold. Yeah. Like, what the? Yeah, no, I always just went into uh, creative real quick. Every time, <laughs> every like just survival I've it. ever had. No, I, and I would just spawn in the eggs or the eyes or whatever and I would just oh, make my own portal. Okay. And I would just make my portal Cheater! wherever I... <laughs> oh, dude, my I... God! <laughs> in... <laughs> Don't tell earlier. Dude, in every survival world I've ever had, I'm a fucking loser. Um, except for maybe on Xbox, because I don't know if you could do that. But, like, on the computer, yeah, I always uh, would switch. Uh, and I would put it in a cool spot, because it's like, I have my awesome base, I got my awesome um, nether portal, and I would just put, like, my end portal, like, right next to it. Or in a vicinity of it, um... But yeah, that's always been like so daunting to like, okay, let's uh, try to find that thing now and then die, like, die and have to do it. But now it's like I've seen so many videos where it's, like, you just get a bunch of beds. Um, and to blow them up. You, yeah, you beat that dude. Nah, like, dude, we're going to do, the, if we were going to do this shit, we're going to do it legit with bow and arrows and fucking a whole bunch of I'm bread. I'm down, bro. <laughs> I'm down. We got to yeah. flood the island. The, the good thing is, or... since my girlfriend also got a new job, I, like, I might have more time to like play or stream or do stuff for myself because she's going to be working later more. Because yeah. she's since she got a new job, she's uh, probably going to be working like either swing or some kind of uh, later shift because she's not going to have the seniority in the new place. That's so maybe it might, I might be able to be coming back to streaming, but if not, dude, podcast once a week is still cool. <laughs> yeah, podcast or even if we're we're gaming, um, because it have to be streaming gaming. You know what I mean? You yeah, could be like I mean, how you just like hang this. out and stuff on the like usually yeah. the weekends too, because like Emily, she she uh works on the weekends and I don't, so sometimes I'll just be chilling in bed, being lazy. Well, like wanting to turn on the computer, I'll text one of my friends. They're like busy, so I'm like, ah, right, whatever. I'll just 
keep yeah. watching my <laughs> animes. Yeah, yeah. I uh, yeah, we gotta hang out. I gotta bring my kids over. Or you can come over. Yeah, dude. We gotta set that up too. Time. That way you could see my house, or I could see your house, and see all the movies in person. You can see yeah. my dog. You can see my cool. Yeah, dog. I see that dog <laughs> back there. Yeah, you need some more shelves. You get that E you said. Yeah, um, I, I was gonna. If we're gonna stop it, I want to tell everyone that's gonna watch this to go to the movie theater and contribute money to Northman, Northman. the Northman, the Northman. <laughs> yeah, put up a picture like right here or something. Okay, I, I got uh, you zoomed in. You're on yeah. focus. This is all you. <laughs> the Northman. Watch The Northman. It's uh, Robert Eggers' new movie. Uh, if you're not familiar with who that is, he did The Witch and The Lighthouse. Uh, both, like, super crazy, like, out, out there, like, horror movies. One's about, like, pilgrim times and, like, a witch. I, I, don't, know, I don't want to talk about that spoiling. And then The Lighthouse has... Robert Pattinson and William Dafoe, uh, which are you know, those guys rock. Yeah, I watched a video where he said it like Dafoe, um, <laughs> and he's great, you know. Um, and the guy who played Batman is in it, and it's such the whole movie shot like in a four by three aspect ratio. It's black and white. It's so fucking weird. Um, but and those were his first two movies like ever. He's like twenty four, twenty five, and so he just made this movie. I think he's twenty six, um, and it is Damn, fantastic. Yeah. Dude, yeah, like younger than us. What the heck? And he's telling the 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 story of Hamlet, you know, mm-hmm. the same story that they were telling in Lion King. Um, you know, so like I love going going into it knowing that because it's like going into it like, okay, what am I about to watch? Um, but I liked going into it knowing that it's pretty much just Simba, um, guy who gets like is the dad gets killed by the uncle. And then the son runs away, uh, goes back to try to fight for the kingdom. Um, but just in this movie, it's told like in a Viking, uh, Nordic, uh, like setting. Mm. The guy who played uh, Amlet, Hamlet, um, it, he was in Tarzan. The guy who played Tarzan in that Tarzan movie. Is that here? Probably too far out of the way. Um, uh, the dude who played Pennywise, his brother. Fantastic. Holy fuck. We need to get him in, in like the Marvel uh movies as like a superhero. That would be incredible if we get to see him as I don't even know. Because he was he's amazing at he was amazing in it. The girl as the witch was great. Um Ethan Hawk was in it. And Ethan Hawk's on fire right now. Like cause he he's in Moon Knight. I don't know if you watch Moon Knight at all. That was great. I've, I've been really bad at watching new movies. Like I said, I've just been stuck on Animes and old things. And yeah, I feel Netflix, that. Usually. Yeah, get Disney Plus if you don't have it. Because um, the, uh, there's some shows on there. I guess you can get on your Fire Stick. There's some shows on there that are worth watching. Like Moon Knight, that's really good. It was, it's only six episodes. The new episode, the last episode comes out you, tonight, actually. You know what's a really good show, before we end that too, is Surve- Severance? Severance. I don't know if you oh, watched yeah. that. It's on uh, Apple uh, TV, so... That's like oh, the only geez. downside, but it's uh, uh who who's you that fancy. guy? Who who? Oh, you know, first thing. Um, <laughs> uh, what's his name from Step Brothers? The the one that sang, um, uh, Will you know, Ferrell. No, no, the the older brother that was like an asshole to fucking. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Um, Adam Scott. Yeah, Adam Scott. That's his name. He's the main character. Man, he's so he, funny. He played that that role so well in Severance. Me and my girlfriend were invested in the show. Left yeah. him like a really big cliffhanger at the end. We were so pissed off. I'll go check that out. Is that the one that has the guy who is in Sky High? He's the kid who glowed. Oh, I don't you know. know. I'll talk about? I'd, have to, I'd have to look up. up, up Look it up. Let me see. Sky, post, Sky, post it right here. Sky uh, High. Look up Zach from Sky High, the kid who glows. Zach. Yeah, he he is like blonde kid. And he <laughs> glows. Uh no, I don't. I don't know. I don't think he was in the show. I don't. He he has black hair now. He's not blonde anymore. You gotta look up the cast and crew for Severance, and you'll see. Yeah, let me see. <laughs> Cast. Yeah, he, he glowed. He glued. 
whatever the he he glowed in he gl- sky he high. glued he glowed okay, i love so sky high. what's his That's actual name a, uh i don't know um you put me on the spot there <laughs> uh i just know he was in sky high and i've seen him he was just in an uber eats commercial um drinking soap because there was like in the nicholas the braun <laughs> that sounds right <laughs> Let me see. Is he in Severance? Nicholas. He better be in Severance, bro. Nicholas Braun. No, he's not. <laughs> <laughs> what show is Severance, bro? Bro, well, like it has Adam Scott, Britt Lower, uh, John Taruto. Taruto. Oh. It has I'm fucking Christopher of, um... Walken too. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he he plays a gay character in there. It's kind of weird. Wow, good for him, dude. That's cool. Oh, I see it has uh um what's his name? You didn't even say his name. John Torturo. Yeah, Torturo. That's what that's how you say his name. He I, played, I said Torturo. <laughs> Did you watch Batman? Yeah, 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 he was in that too. He played uh uh I think Penguin Falcon. in there was actually a pretty good. Oh, he played it pretty well. Dude. He played it pretty Everyone well. Everyone was great. Um Catwoman, I feel like Catwoman was okay. I feel like they gave Selena Kyle too much to do. Like, not not like, oh, they... Like, when they're writing the script, like, oh, they... Zoe Kravitz has too much screen time. No, it was fine. There was just too much screen time for Selena Kyle. Hmm. Not any, like... Uh, like, we didn't get to see her that often as Catwoman. Yeah, she was, that's, yeah, she was more Kyle. of like a... Yeah, yeah I know what you it's mean. Like, what, are you, what is this? But yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's let's end it on that but yeah you should watch or look up severance see if you could uh play it or For watch sure. it okay and you watch northman yeah i'll, I'll watch northman look it up on your on your stick dude it's oh, well, it's I'm gonna have so it good saved up too. you'll be on the edge of your uh that's good because yeah it's because i've been i've been wanting to watch something else ever since ever ever since i watched severance i'm like man i gotta find another show like this it's only nine episodes right now so they're gonna make a new yeah. season that yeah. i'll give you a little breakthrough of what it is it's like so it's these people that want to separate their work life from their actual life so when they go to work their brain switch into like an any so it's a different person when they wake up inside and their innies oh, okay. don't know what's going on, on the outside so you go to work your other half of the brain or whatever switches on and they just like they're like a new person they, they don't know who they are all they know is work and then when they clock out they go into an elevator and their brain switches back to his audi or like you know your regular life and you don't know what yeah. you do inside so it's like fucking crazy it's like a really good show so what's like well, what's like driving the show like does someone well they, uh, like not they wanna, have that ability or something no they want to f- like the innies want to know what their outside life is and the outies kind of like they're starting to be like what are we really doing at work? like what's going on yeah and then like inside oh, okay. what they're doing like makes no sense of like what what their like daily job is it's just like it's weird it's it's super weird yeah that's cool yeah you know that sounds cool i just want to yeah, it's like what, what pushes the show yeah, I'm. It's hard for me to get into shows. Well, at least it's only one season, cause yeah, cause I've started so many shows, and then I'm just like, cause right now we're watching The Walking Dead, which is awesome. <laughs> I, I love it's The Walking long. Dead. It's too long to get started on that. Yeah. I, I I watched up to like the fourth season, but then it's yeah, that's where still. we are. We're uh, just it's about to finish season sale. three. Uh, Governor just came and shot up the prison. Um, spoiler alert! Sorry. Um, <laughs> All right, so that's where we're, we're going to end it right there, all right? So this was another episode of the Uncanceled Podcast. Look, my, my pets are over here, like, touching me, like, come on, let's go to bed. Yeah. <laughs> this is another episode of the Uncanceled Podcast. This is, like I said, this is my new co-host, John, or I'm Dubs, or Tales of Horror, or anywhere on his social media that he wants it to plug. movies daily. <laughs> yeah so um hopefully we're gonna be doing this again once a week you know start on maybe yeah. start getting onto trending topics we'll start having like a list of stuff to talk about right now it was actually really good to catch up because old friend not seeing him for a long time it's so good to see a friendly face it has been a long time even though we <laughs> it's yeah, it sucks that life's like that you know i remember being younger like oh that's not gonna happen 
Like we're uh, gonna be friends forever. Yeah, like, I have so <laughs> many people. Like I'll think about it. I'm like I used to like I slept at that guy's house. I yeah. haven't talked to him in twelve years, fifteen years. Like uh, it's insane. But the, the good thing, sure. be- the good, the good thing between me and Jonathan, it's always been like if we have we, if we don't talk in months, and then we'll like kind of start a little conversation. And it's like we never left that combo. So that's always been a good thing know. between me and him. I um, mean, we always have good times together. Even back then, when we were doing mischievous things in high school. Oh yeah, <laughs> good times, man. Yeah. Do I? So, Two A, <laughs> working together, <laughs> doing all that fun stuff. But yeah, man. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna end that there. I appreciate everybody coming in. Um, we're gonna be posting this here on my main channel, Easy Mac, and I'm going to be starting a new channel called the Unpa- Uncancelled Podcast. And I'm just gonna start slowly weaning everything over to that side, but uh, just to get traction on our on back onto this podcast, I'm just gonna post on both. And, uh, uh, yeah, hope to see you guys into the comment section. Hope to see you guys maybe put some input in what we're saying. Maybe give us some ideas to talk about into the next one. And, and yeah, yeah, dude, so if you have any final thoughts, anything to say. Uh, I'm so excited we did this. I'm glad we finally pulled the trigger on it. Like we said at the beginning, it's been something that we've talked about. Uh, like, I'll text him or he'll text me. Like, hey, man, we got to do this. And then he'll just... It won't happen. Months will go by. And like, hey, man, we got to do this. <laughs> and then it just doesn't happen. So it's awesome to finally yeah, we be sitting here trigger, doing it. So now it's going to be a lot easier to be like, all right, to, this week yeah, we got to do it. We got to do it again. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah, check me out uh, on plug TikTok. Them in, plug them in. Go to my uh, go on TikTok and look up good movies. I think it'll pop up if you look up just good movies. And then the picture is like just like the silhouette of my like face um, i'll put um, some uh, screenshots of everything yeah so look up good movies daily and tales of horror i want to start doing like i said already i want to start doing more minecraft videos and i've been on the fence of just starting something new or posting back back on my i'm dubs channel so i can feel cool it? yeah because like i was just looking through it and i have videos that are like 12 years old on that and i could be like an og minecraft person because people, if you know, I have videos from from Minecraft from eleven years ago, um, and there's people with millions and millions of subs on Minecraft that just started playing like two years ago. So it's like, yeah, I, it's, I'm it's just one of those things where like it goes away and then it comes back and it becomes super yeah. popular again. And then you got to be like yeah. the front runner on it. So yeah. So yeah, check out those. I appreciate you having me on, man. This is awesome. No, man. I'm like I said, it's back. it's just I'm I appreciate you for even wanting to come in. You know, I tell I would tell somebody and they'd be like, Nah, not for me. Or yeah, maybe. Yeah. But like we've always been like, Yeah, let's do it. But yeah. you know, it's just kind of hard to kind of put it in there, put in the time. But now we got to do. The, we got... How's the mustache? <sighs> Sexy, man. No, I wish I had a beard, bro. <laughs> I guess I guess we'll ask the people. You got the beard. All right, yeah, we'll tell him what they think about your beard. So, yeah, <laughs> follow him on his social medias like he said. Me, Easy Mac, everywhere, super simple. You guys know where to get me, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, whatever. All Easy Mac. I appreciate everybody. Thank you so much for another episode of the Uncanceled Podcast. I don't even know what to call this. Catching up? <laughs> uh, yeah, just... Um, old friends catching up that'll be the time like <laughs> rebirth rebirth of the podcast because it's like new rebirth and catch up um, yeah that sounds good yeah, we'll yeah. figure out maybe we'll yeah. think about something on the DMs <laughs> but yeah let's, let's end it on a good note I appreciate right, you man. for coming in again thank you so much everybody you guys have a great rest of your day night or morning whatever you got going on and uh yeah we'll see you in the next episode peace goodbye out.